Okay, this is not a garden, this is where I live. Okay, yeah, like that, you see? So, let's take a garden walk. So, I remember when I was young, when we were growing, me and my cousin and my brother at my granny's place. Each day, maybe when we're doing Ugali, we'd go to the garden to get Skumawiki. And so, those Skumawiki, you okay, when they at the nursery level, you'd actually water them, and even when they're out of the nursery level, you still water them. As you can see, this soil is so wet right now. And so, all my life, like from my childhood up to my closet, I've eaten Skumawiki or other greens from the garden, directly from the garden. We never bought, you know, it's, it's Ushago, like in my rural area. We never bought Skumawiki. But when I came to Nairobi, I started buying Skumawiki. And for me personally, I love greens that come directly from the garden. The garden are very sure of how it is and all that. That's how I love it. But so, so when I'm so when I'm filming this, I'm remembering so much of my granny and the greens that you used to do. Thank you so much, granny. Right now, I'm missing my granny's ugali, but I right know because I know how to cook. I'm a cook ugali for myself because these greens makes you miss ugali. You know, foreigners or other some people who are who ugali is not their staple meal, they say it, it's tasteless. Uh, but mine, when I cook, I do some prestige or other bluebird in it. I think that gives it a taste. I'm not sure if that does the miracle or not, but I love ugali with a prestige. And then you do nini skumawiki greens with some tomatoes and some royco. And you're good to go. Thank you so much for watching. Let's meet in the kitchen. Maybe next in my next video. May God bless you. Please do subscribe. Thank you.